quite soon we see that um, when we make the back it uh, doesn't have the very parallel uh, arch here uh, but it goes down pretty uh, soft and uh, uh, it has a, a long uh, arch going from end to end. On the top we, uh, uh, we notice there's a s steeper uh, part here and very parallel and then steep again. And uh, well this is what most of the uh, old masters violin looks like and uh, I don't see any purpose of doing that uh, I mean uh, this uh, on the top we should have this parallel thing and on the back we should go more smoothly from edge to edge uh, if they did something like this this could be an explanation why it differs from uh, top to back that the wood just calls for it and they didn't think that much just uh, <laughs> if they follow this principle then it ends up like this so um, well just a thought I think we make you go away a little bit. It's easy to think that you're uh, at the uh, correct pitch when you go uh, all the way. But um, uh, since the tone is slightly rising all the way out, you don't hear the um, difference. But if you go, it's very clear. So you have to take away here but don't be too bold because uh, the tone changes fast
uh, I will leave you here. Uh, I will do upwards too. But now we have established over here and down to the lower edge. <laughs> well, I had some more work to do there. Good enough for time being. So, see you in a while.